Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we are finally bringing back the Realistic Hunt series because recently a lot of you have been commenting that I should bring this series back and I just put up a poll to ask what type of video I should record today and uh, quite a few of you said to do Realistic Hunts so that's what we're going to be doing and I am going to make a few changes to it because there was a couple things that I didn't particularly like about the series when I was doing it a lot and it's also something that a lot of you guys didn't really enjoy too much and that was the whispering so we're not going to be doing any of that. Uh, we're going to try and keep all of the role playing aspects out of it uh, given that a lot of you didn't like it so we're just gonna try and hunt as realistically as we can we still have all of the help turned off uh, manual chambering and reloading is still on uh, nothing else has really changed but I figured since Rancho Del Arroyo just came out our first hunt should be a pheasant hunt and speaking of pheasants we actually have our first pheasant over there so let's see if we can sneak up and try to get this one to flush. Now, we do have the over and under shotgun, the over and under 12 gauge with birdshot, and then we do have a sidearm on us today. Uh, we always keep a defensive sidearm on our character with this series, but other than that, we only get one gun, and for us today, it's going to be the over and under 12 gauge. We also have our brand new best friend, Jess, who is going to be our hunting dog on this account. And since this is a completely different account that I do the realistic hunts on, we don't have any money at all. And we're only level 31, so I am going to have to earn money and try and be able to unlock some of the stuff. Uh, probably at some point. I'll do that off camera though. But we are just going to try and hunt as realistically as we possibly can. I don't know a ton about uh, pheasant hunting IRL because I've never done it myself, but... We're just going to try and hunt as realistically as we can, and I think because of that, we're not, we're only going to shoot the roosters. We're not going to try and target the hens at all. So, if we find just a hen, we'll let her live, but we are going to take out roosters, and I think we're going to set ourselves like an eight rooster bag limit or something, some sort of bag limit to kind of mimic real life. So I guess we'll go with eight for this one. Let me know in the comments if we should adjust anything for uh, future realistic hunts because I'm sure that you guys probably have some awesome ideas and I'd love to hear them so if you guys have an idea for this series drop it in the comments below and I will try to respond to it and if I like the idea then we'll implement it into our future realistic hunts but man this reserve is just so beautiful I honestly can't get over how nice this uh, reserve looks especially early in the morning and late at night when the sun is uh, rising and setting it just looks so beautiful. Oh, we actually have some bighorn feeding out there. Now, unfortunately, we can't take any bighorn uh, because we don't have the proper weapon for them, really. And with this being the realistic hunts, I do like to stick to the objective, which is hunting pheasants. But let me know what you guys think down below if we should do any type of, I guess, like, tag system or something like say we have a limit of like one of each species per video uh, along with like larger than one species or one animal bag limits for stuff like birds that is the first rooster though we need to try and figure out where this guy is and get him down this is the first rooster we've heard so let's hope that we can get close enough to actually see him once we can spot him it'll be much easier to track him down you know, it's right about now that I would love to have a dog that can actually flush out pheasants because it's so easy to lose them when you don't have the tracks on. It makes it so difficult to try and figure out where they actually were. I have yet to see any sign of this pheasant. I found some tracks from a hen, but no signs of this rooster anywhere. I'm really hoping that somewhat soon we can get another dog added to the game that will actually be able to help us track things or uh, not track things but help us flush stuff out that would be an awesome addition oh is that there we go I think it's all hens though yeah unfortunately that's all hens so we can't take a shot but that's the first sign of pheasants that we've seen and I honestly think that one might have been a little bit darker than the others uh, maybe it kind of looks like it's just a gray though but that's our first sign of pheasants so we at least know that we're in the right area we got a couple more of them over here but 
Once again, no roosters. Oh, there's a rooster. Okay, we spotted a rooster. Let's get a little bit closer. We don't want this guy to get away. This is the first one we've seen, and I would love to get him down. It truly is so much harder to find these guys when you don't have any of the tracks on or the spotting outlines or anything like that. It really makes it a challenge. Is that him? Did we just get him flushed out? Can't actually tell. No, but wait, that actually might have been one. I think that might have been either a rare pheasant or that's a rooster. Okay, so we found ourselves a rooster. Uh, the other one somehow eluded us, but this guy just flew off in this direction, so he shouldn't be all that hard to relocate. And that right there is a hen. Where did that rooster go? Oh, there he is. No? Is that... Can't even tell anymore. I think that's another hen. Well, with all the complications we've had, I'd say this is our best bet yet. This is the first rooster out in the open. All the other ones have been in very brushy areas, but this one right here seems to be in a much better spot. Let's just hope he stays there and we're actually able to flush him out. Oh, I see a bunch of pheasants right there. There's our rooster. I think we missed him. We definitely got him on the second shot, though. So we finally got our first rooster down, and there's a lot of pheasants in this area. This might be the place to be. I think all of those other ones are just hens, unfortunately. But there's even more landing off in the distance. This is definitely the place to be for pheasants. They are everywhere. And that's our first rooster of the day. I didn't get a good look at what size it was, so... I guess we'll find out. It is a 15.50, just barely made gold. But that's a solid, solid start. I'm just happy we finally managed to find a rooster and get him down because they were eluding us and just dodging us left and right. It's been hard trying to get these pheasants into a spot where I can actually see them and flush them out. That is the sound of another pheasant. We definitely hit the hot spot. We've been seeing and hearing more pheasants in this area than any other part of the map that we have gone through. And yeah, he's feeding right there. So we're going to take a different approach this time. We're actually going to move in slowly, try not to spook him, and see if we can just get him to flush close to us. But he's already warning, so I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Yeah, he's running already. So we're just going to have to try and catch up to him and get him on the ground. There he is. We got a second one down. We have finally got into a spot where we're actually getting a couple pheasants down. And that right there is a beautiful rooster. What a beautiful pheasant. They really are beautiful birds. This one right here is a little bit smaller than the last one at 1460, but uh, we made a good shot on it, got it down super quick, went a little bit smoother than the last one. So as of now, we've missed out on two and got two also. I just heard another pheasant, but I have no clue which direction it called from. It was just a very brief one, and I didn't get any type of indication of what direction it was from, so we're just going to have to kind of walk around and hope we managed to flush it out. I don't really know which direction it was in. I'm thinking it was somewhere over in this way, but I have no way of even knowing. Well, we ended up making it to one of the other lodges that's available here at the beautiful Rancho Del Arroyo Hunting Reserve, and I think we're going to call it a night and pick up in the morning and try to get ourselves some more roosters. Man, it is a beautiful morning today, so let's get back out and try to fill the rest of our uh, pheasant tags, because we as of now have two, and we can still take up to six more. But they have been very elusive so far. It's been almost impossible to find them, and when we do find them, it's been 50-50 as to whether or not we've actually been able to get them down. A couple of them have escaped us, which means they're still out there, and we're going to try and track them down today. Oh my gosh, there we go. Finally some pheasants. After a very long time of trying to find some. And it looks like they're already running away from us. We gotta keep eyes on these guys. 
we could very easily lose sight of them. We have had just terrible time trying to keep up with them. We've got some whitetail over here that we're actually feeding very close to the pheasants, but they don't seem to want to stay around. And there's even a little coyote. This is quite the location. And this might be our third pheasant if we can just catch up to it. So once again, we can't figure out where that rooster went, but there's a bunch of hens just bedded down right here, which is actually a pretty cool sight. I'm going to see if I can photograph these guys because this is actually not something you get to see every day. And I think we can get a perfect one right here. Oh my gosh, there actually was a rooster with them, and I didn't notice it. We gotta catch up to them and try to take that guy out. Oh, they're actually flying back. Can we get this? Oh my gosh, we got it. We actually got him. Well, there we go. There is our third pheasant of the day. Jess finally found it. And this is, I believe, one of the gray ones. I couldn't really tell, but yeah, this is a gray. And it's also the biggest one that we've managed to come across, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, we're about a third of the way through the amount of pheasants that we can take, so got a long ways to go, but hopefully we can manage to find the rest of them, but that's pretty cool. We got our biggest one so far. Let's keep looking because I know there's more out here. Okay, I think we're fine. For a second, I wasn't sure if that bobcat was going to come for uh, me and Jess, but it looks like it was just passing by. I was really thinking for a second that it was going to try and take us out, but it looks like it had no interest in us and just wanted to get away. So we'll let it live. All right, it looks like we finally managed to come up on some pheasants again. Uh, we're actually pretty far north of the outpost right now. And we had that encounter with the bobcat, and now this is the next thing that we hear. So, fingers crossed that we'll actually be able to get visual of this guy. Otherwise, we're going to have to continue searching. But this is a really good area for pheasants. There's always quite a few here, so I've got a good feeling about this. There they are. I don't see the rooster, though. There he is. I think that was the only one, but... At least we managed to find one. The rest of them do seem to be hens, but we got ourselves a rooster down. Uh, real quickly, we'll take a look at them just to make sure, but I'm almost positive the rest of these are hens. Oh, that right there is not a hen. Let's see if we can get him. Pretty far off, so I doubt we managed to connect those shots, but we at least know where another one is heading, and we should be able to chase him down, but we got this guy right here. And that is a beautiful rooster. It looks like it's just a common plumage type, but let's see what he was. Just a 13.90, so it's actually a pretty small one. But that's our, first, our uh, fourth pheasant of the day. So we are now halfway through the amount that we can take out. Here we go. I think this might be our opportunity. I see the hens, but I don't see the rooster. Actually, that might be him. Let's uh, take another look. Yep, that's the rooster, right there. Let's see if we can get him to come back to us. He most certainly is. And we got him on the second shot. This hunt is really starting to turn around. That is our fifth pheasant on the ground. Only three more before we've reached our bag limit. And 1640 is not a bad one at all. This is a uh, molting pheasant. He's starting to lose his feathers, so a uh, cool phase to get him in. Very awesome. So with our time running out to uh, take on our pheasants during this pheasant trip, I think we're going to take a bit of a break and go after some antelope jackrabbit. There is no bag limit for them because they are a small game animal, so we can pretty much have free reign and take as many of them as we want. And I just saw a few of them walking into these bushes, so we're going to see if we can sneak up on them and take them down. 
It looks like they've gone in this direction. From what I can tell, this is where they went. And yeah, they definitely went this way and... Oh, there we go. There's a rabbit right there. There could be more close. Usually where there's one, there's more. But it does look like this one might have been alone. If not, then the others probably aren't too far away. But we somehow only hit one of our pellets, which is kind of surprising at that close of range. We definitely have more tracks from them, as you guys can see. There's not only just rabbits, but there's also bighorns here. But we definitely have some rabbit droppings here, so... We shouldn't be too far away from the rest of these little guys. Well, with my time for recording coming to an end, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed this little uh, revamp of an old series that we used to do called Realistic Hunts. I really appreciate everybody watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of my new videos. Also, leave a comment down below on what you guys think we should tweak about this series because I'm sure there's a few things that we could do better to make this more of an enjoyable series for everybody. But so far, I'm having fun bringing it back. It was kind of nice to get out and do a little bit of pheasant hunting. And I'm thinking our next hunt here on Rancho Del Arroyo is going to be a whitetail hunt. So let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments below and we'll see if we can manage to uh, tweak it to everybody's likings. But with that being said, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!